welcome back so today we will be performing azure firewall and the module name is implementation of platform protection so this is the architecture that we're gonna perform and uh, everything is using the custom templates so first we'll be using the custom templates and we'll be loading the files so let's go ahead and see how it works so initially just go and type custom templates so you can see here there is a deploy custom template uh, click that and uh, here you can see we have a build your own template in the editor click that and here you have to load the file so just click load file and this is the location where you have to load you can find this in the github so if i click this so this is the json file related to that and here you have to make sure that it's 2019 i think initially it's 2016 so if i go and search 2016 here uh, we have 2016 data center and uh, instead of 2016 you have to change it to 2019 so similarly accordingly in different places you have to change it only at the place of data center so before data center you have to change 2019 and just save it and this is the template and coming to the resource group uh, this is the resource group that we have to implement and should be east us so make sure everything is on the right place and just review and create it so once it is done the next task is we have to deploy the azure firewall so if you see we have a lot of resources in this we have uh, you know let's go ahead and check the resources if you go to the resource groups and if you click the resource group that has been created so like most of the things are already been deployed using the template so we have to just add the connections which we'll be doing now so we have to also deploy the azure firewall as well so going back you have to search for the firewall click firewall so fire so if you click the firewall a firewall has already been created let me show you how this is done so if you see the architecture this has been created this has been created this has been created and even the files has been created even the virtual network inside this particular resource group has been done so now we are uh, including this firewall so that, that is what we are creating now so just create and uh, in the create section make sure you have a proper subscription and select the appropriate resource group which is uh, is it 500 lab 08 and coming to the name let me copy and paste that name so this is the name related to that i'll be getting error because it's already there so i'm just keeping it one and make sure it's east us and uh, then we have to coming to firewall management and even the firewall tire should be standard and here you have to use the classic rules so click that and coming to virtual network using the using the custom templates that already been deployed so if you use existing you can uh, check here you just need to click that and coming to public ip we don't have any public ip right now but i have already created it so this is the public ip that has been created if that is not there just click add new and add that particular name here so it will be done so once this is done just go ahead and review and create so wait for the deployment it, it will it may takes like five to ten minutes and once it is deployed go to the firewall that has been created so if i go back so this is the firewall that has been created and here you have to note the private ip so you can see this is the private ip of that make sure you note the private ip because uh, in the next section we'll be using this particular private IP so this is done and let's go to the task 3 so the task 3 is to create the default route so we have created the firewall uh, we have created the firewall and we also have this work but there is no po proper route to this so we'll be creating a route for that so let's go back and here go to the workload subnet so okay we'll be we'll add that later so let's go to the routes so you can see here there is route tables click that 
and in the route tables we already have one but let me show you how this is done uh, click create and in the create well, it's taking some time okay and coming to the resource group the proper resource group and uh, proper uh, east us region and coming to the name is firewall route so add that firewall route and review and create it so once this is done uh, we'll go to the routing table and do the changes so make sure it's done go back to the routing table so this will be the uh, dashboard that we'll be seeing once you have done creating and click the routing table and uh, here under the settings you can see the subnets click the subnets and here you have to associate so in this case we are associating the workload descent which is the this subnet we are associating this particular subnet so under this subnet we have work under this subnet we have this particular machine so now we are using the workload sn so click associate and here you have to select the virtual network which is this and coming to the subnet it's workload sn since it's already there we are getting error however like this is the process that we have to follow so once this is done go back and uh, here you have it's done the next thing is we have to add the route which is in the top section you can see here routes click that and uh, we already created one let me show you how this is done click the route name so in this case the route name according to the docs is for this I'm getting error so I'll just skip one and coming to address prefix destination uh, you have to keep the IP address and here I'll be keeping zero so and the next hop would be the virtual appliance so click the virtual appliance and the next hop would be the ip address that we have copied so it's 10.0.0. i think 1.4 if i'm not wrong i've already pasted it, so let me show you yeah it's 1.4 yeah i'm right so it's done so just click add it will be added so once this is done uh the now the task for is we have to configure an application rule for that we have to navigate to the firewall that we have created so if you go back if you check here we have firewall click that and here under the settings you can see rules classic click that and under the application rules you have to add this so you just need to click add button here and uh, coming to the name according to the docs I'm adding the name here uh, it's done and the next the priority is 200 so it's error so I'll just keep 201 and it's allow and coming to the target uh, fully qualified domain names let me add the details so this is the one and coming to the IP address it's the one. and let me paste the source so add this so this is nothing but you can see you can see in the architecture this is nothing but this particular subnet so go back and here coming to the protocol let me add that so it's done and coming to the target it's bing.com so using bing one second so you have to click is and bing.com so once it is done just click add so it will be done and uh, once it is done next the task 5 is to configure network rule so which is nothing but which beside this click the network rule and this should be the configurations for that so similarly you have to add this and uh, the name would be this is the name for that let me add the name this is the name for that however i'm getting error so i'll just click one and uh, the priority will be 201 because if i keep 200 i'll be getting error and it will be allow so coming to the ip address the name would be allow dns so let me add that and the protocol will be udp and ip address we have to paste the ip address of that particular subnet which we have seen in the architecture 
and uh, the destination will be let me add these things so where is that yeah Shit. so this is the destination address so basically they are public dns servers and coming to the port which is 53 so just add and just click add here it will be done for you so we are completed with the task 5 now let's proceed with the task 6 where we have to configure the virtual machine dns servers so for that let's go to the srv work virtual machine so if i go back and uh, if i click the virtual machines here we have two machines which is uh, work and which is jump so you can see in the architecture this is the jump and this is the work which is in workload uh, which is in workload sub uh, subnet and uh, the other one is jump subnet so now we are working with the work so just click work and in the work under the networking you can see so the, uh, beside the network interface we have uh, net, uh, SRV work 267 so just click that and when you done you can see there is a DNS servers you have to add the names that we have added in the previous uh, previous task so these are the two DNS servers that you need to add that we have configured in the previous rules so once it is done and it should be custom only then you can add it so once it is done make sure to save them so wait for some time just to update them and once it is done go back to the jump server so if i go back so click the jump and you have to connect to rdp and you have to download the file and add the password accordingly according to the document so once we connect with that i have already connected it so this is the location uh, of that virtual machine that we have uh, deployed so once you deploy this jump virtual machine you have to use this command so let me copy that command to connect to the work so you have to click run uh, so click that and uh, here you have to click it and uh, this is the command that you need to use and this is basically will connect to the SRV work virtual machine now we are inside the jump so there will be prompt where you have to enter the username and password so you can connect to that uh, work machine so once it is done you have to make sure that uh, it's off initially it will be on uh, make sure it's off so once it is done just click ok and go back to the go back to this uh, explorer and if you go back and type bing.com you are able to access the bing.com on the other hand if you type to you know the microsoft.com you'll be getting error it is denied because of the rules so this is how it's going to work so pretty much uh, this is the video for the azure firewall and once it is done make sure you delete all the resources so if i go back you have to click the powershell and uh, let me add the command once it's done so so we have completed with this architecture and we were able to access bing.com because it, it was because that is the only side which has been allowed whereas the other sites are being denied so you just need to click here and you just need to add it will be done for you and meanwhile i'll be getting error because this virtual machine is on so it's in process so i hope you guys have understood the concept of your firewall and implementing the platform protection uh the lab 8 of az500 so if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys